Hi, I'm Dan Kelly with the engineering team at ECS, and today we're here to talk about crystal part numbers. We'll go through the basic information that you need to build a part number and talk about the available uh, options that you have if you need custom parameters. Bring up our uh, part numbering guide, and the crystal part number is going to start with an ECS prefix. That's just showing that we're the manufacturer. Uh, next, you'll see the frequency abbreviation. So in this example, this is a 16 megahertz crystal. So the abbreviation for that is a 160. The list of standard frequency abbreviations is shown on page two of the part numbering guide. And if there's a frequency that you need that isn't standard, uh, just contact us. We'll be happy to help you build a part number for that. Uh, after that, the load capacitance is specified. So this is the effective load that the crystal is brought to final frequency with. And then the last portion is the package type. So this is usually defined by uh, space available or price target, that sort of thing. So that's the bare minimum information that you need to specify a crystal. After that, you'll see there are um, value added options, custom options for tolerance, stability, and temp range. Those don't have to be included. So if you just need a standard specification, you can stop after the package type and, and you're really done. If you need custom tolerance or stability, uh, that's how you go about uh, specifying that. But keep in mind, um, you know, uh, it's not something that has to be included in the part number. So uh, thanks for uh, watching. Uh, I hope that helps you understand how our part numbers are constructed. If uh, you need help with uh, building a part number, again, uh, we'll list our uh, email address for our uh, engineering team at ECS at the bottom of the video. That's uh, engineering at ecsxtal.com. And we'll also include a link to the part number guide. Thanks a lot.